Hey everyone, welcome back to Jardev, and welcome back to Don't Starve Together, by myself. This is offline. Uh, I know it's been a while since I played Don't Starve. I did a, a very short series on Hamlet earlier. Hamlet wasn't quite as cool as I thought it was going to be. I liked the idea of the, the villages, but it just seemed like too much work to really do things in it. Honestly, I think like Don't Starve is one of the few games where I actually preferred it before they started adding new things. I think like Reign of Giants was my cutoff, like anything after that, it was just too much for me. I really liked the original game. In fact, I think I just prefer vanilla Don't Starve, like even before Reign of Giants. Anyway, there was a new character unlocked in Don't Starve Together recently. It was one from Shipwrecked, which again, I did not get very far in, but he sounded kind of cool. Um, it's Warly, he likes food. Food is probably my favorite thing to do in this game, so I figured he might be kind of fun to do a little series in, see how far we get. I think we're going to go for the Wilderness game mode here. Enter at a random location, no safety net if you die, try again. That's just like regular Don't Starve, so that sounds fine. One player, alone. This is it. I think I'm just going to leave caves totally off. We're just going for a very simple world here. Alright, here is Warly. Oh, hello. Um... Culinarian has a refined palate, cooks in custom kitchenware, brings a stylish self uh, chef pouch. <laughs> Very exciting. He looks kind of neat. Let's go. Um, feel free to give me your advice and stuff. In this first episode, I'm probably going to record like a week's worth of videos now. So I'll see like advice and comments, um, like starting in like episode four or something. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Where's my old Don't Starve? God. Do people like all the changes? Like, I, I already explained that I preferred it, like, even before Reign of Giants. That's a really good find, holy crap. Alright, we have our portable crock pot. That's how we how we make food with old Warly. Um, I think he... Oh, my, my axe is almost dead. I think the thing with him is he... Uh, he has a huge stomach, holy shit. Um... He can't eat the same thing, like, too often. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> um, so you need to, like, cook him lots of different stuff. This is probably worth getting. We can just chuck that in the pot, right? Yeah. Does he start with these? That's amazing. Holy shit, did they change water? It's kind of neat. Um, and also he gets, like... I think it's, like, 64% or, like, three quarters the, the food gain like the stomach gain from eating eating food. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it, like everyone will know it better than me. <laughs> but I just thought he seemed kind of neat, because he likes food, and I like doing food things. Wish I had that recipe mod <laughs> that like shows you what you're gonna make. Oh well. This is, this is old school Don't Starve, even though it's together. Uh, I remember last time I played, I think it was in the Hamlet one, yeah. It was fucking impossible to find any flint. So I really hope that, uh... It's not like that still. That's not the map. Where's the map? But yeah, um... What do you think about all the, the expansions? Holy fuck, this place is huge. <gasps> A rock. Can't get into it. Oh my god, how big is this? This is like the perfect place to set up, holy crap. If there's beefalo around here, we've found our place. There's so many rabbits. Uh-oh, spiders. Ooh, ooh, a trap. Be chill. He's chill, he's fine. I should probably just stick to the path, though. Oh, show me flint. Oh, <laughs> show me flint. Nope. Fine. <gasps> Beefaloes. Hello. Can I build a backpack? <gasps> we might find flint. Yes. Oh my god, we're set. If there's a forest around here, like this is a great place to set up. Oh, we need one more flint. Please, can there be one more flint here? Please? <laughs> I swear to God. 
Yeah, they definitely changed the water. It looks nice. Please. Please, Flint. Why? Why is this? It never used to be a problem to find flint. Like, this area is huge and there's no flint. What the fuck's with this game now? <laughs> what was that? Oh, neat. Uh, do we have enough for a fire? Oh, hello. We do. Oh my. <laughs> that guy's fucking dead. He's just standing there. I don't understand why Flint is so hard to come by now. Thank you. Holy fuck. Okay, we're almost ready for, like, a base. How do we do a science machine now? Yeah, it's just one gold. Easy. Oh my god, can we actually do, like, a night one setup? Maybe. <laughs> We probably can't get back to, like, the perfect spot in time. But holy crap, we're gonna have a decent setup. Like, science machine day two. Tons of gold, tons of rocks. We've got the flint going. Gonna be able to make an axe. Gonna be able to make a backpack. Where's that? A flare! This is alone. Don't starve together alone. Uh, where is the backpack? <laughs> Did it fucking break already? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Hello. You fuck off. I uh, got a lighter. Oh! You still do a fire? Yes. Oh my. No. Oh, sorry. You only like cooked food or something? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. What do I not need? I like this mushroom we could do without. Wow, what a fucking haul. <laughs> All the flint was over on this side. Amazing. Can't believe I ran out of sticks so quickly. <laughs> Okay, so like right around here, we've got all the pigs and shit down here to like kite dogs to and stuff. Oh, I heard noise. Was it a spider? No. It was not. Let's go ahead and do a little campfire. Bam. Okay, so we place this. Like we could get like a meaty stew going, right? I think that'll do a meaty stew. That's a very nice crock pot. Apparently you can just like leave it if you need like a little map marker. Um, I don't actually think we're gonna need this log. Bam, meaty stew. All right, let's do it for the sandy, I guess. We can probably make like a ratatouille with the rest of this stuff. Bit of a waste of a fish, but that's okay. So he won't eat raw ingredients. I'm gonna have to see if he'll do like a berry. Oh, that's kind of nice. He'll do like a berry over there. Oh, I wish I had the food values mod. Maybe between. Oh, that made meatballs. Oh my god. Uh, maybe between I'll add like a couple of those mods. <laughs> I like that. He's a he's a neat little character. Uh, I need to get more sticks. Let's make this. We'll go chopping. Which should be just over there. And then... We've got enough gold and flint and rocks. We'll actually like set up our science machine and stuff. Bam, we'll be, we'll be ready to go. How did I miss all this flint? <laughs> just wasn't there, I swear. Where is it? Pretty close. Are those pigs, like, just over here as well? Beefalo, hello. Thank you. Is he just one beefalo? Because I'm definitely going to camp by him and, uh... Juicy berry. Oh! Oh, okay, sweet. Oh, hello. 
Neat. Oh, he ate them all. Ooh, carrot. Oh my god, we're definitely gonna need this backpack. And a carrot. Uh, I should be grabbing uh, twigs. <laughs> That's actually what I came here for. Is he chill? Sort of. He's alright. He's not chill. God, we're gonna need a freezer. How do we do a freezer? <laughs> He's gonna show us. Portable cart pot, portable grinding mill. Whoa, okay. We're also gonna have set up right near rabbits. But there were millions of those, so I think we're gonna be okay. These are kinda neat. Hmm. Ooh, no, don't need that. Probably like shovel some of these up at some point. Although I think you need the science machine for shovel. Let's grab a couple more twigs and we'll go set up the science machine. That'll be perfect. We're good on this? Sort of. You need a lot for a backpack though. Butterfly? No. Oh. Thank you. That's all coming back now, isn't it? Uh, science machine. Easy. Alchemy engine. Might not take us that long to get it. So we're going to be right on the edge of all the rocks. We don't want to be right by the bee flow. We want to be pretty close. Somewhere on the path would be good. Ash that many rock. Oh, not near the spiders though. A little bit over here, maybe? We want to be like right at the bottom. There's no rabbits down here? <laughs> there were tons up top. Okay, this isn't bad. And a wormhole. I think like right on this path right here is pretty good. So science machine. Bam. Fucking bird landed right where I was going to do it. Okay. Survival. Where is my backpack? There it is. Um, 180, yeah, I guess we could do with it. Bam. Okay, does it tell us how to do a freezer? I know it's going to be ice. How can we engine gear and cut stone? It's not, it's not actually ice. Uh, science, alchemy engine, two of those thingies. Uh, are those just in science? Yes. God, we are very close to that. We just need more stone, kind of. Let's get this pickaxe. Go back and get some more rocks, because we're going to need it for our fire pit. But the water looks spooky at night. <laughs> Jeez. I think this is a pretty good start, honestly. Oh, I didn't put a trap down. That's okay. Oh, I need the food values one. <laughs> I think this is like 100, 150 or something. Now, I read that this is the best thing you can make as Warly because... Um, I think it's like his, his tolerance for eating the same thing go, like, disappears after two days, and basically, like, one of these every two days will keep him going forever. <laughs> so as long as you can somehow do meaty stews all the time. Which I don't think I'll be able to do. Uh, you would be set, theoretically. That's probably more for Don't Starve Together, like, with actual other people. <laughs> You could just sit at home like a pig king and be like, bring me more meat for a meaty stew. Is this enough rocks? 37? That's probably good. I oh, know we need a shitload of the cut rocks. Cut stone. 
I guess we'll grab these now, see if he eats a cooked seed. We should head back. Perfect. Right by the wormhole. Very useful. I was going to take those, but we don't need them. Let's set that right there. That should do. Do a fire pit. Right here. Um, mm -mm. Let's go ahead and eat this. Okay, it didn't... Oh my god, it was 150. Amazing, I remembered. Let's see if he'll eat one of these. Okay, he will not. He only eats cooked things. So this is a waste, so let's just drop that. Uh, what else was I going to do? <laughs> Some kind of science-y things. I need four cut stone. Let's do it. Nice. Two electrical doodads. And four boards. I don't think we're going to have enough for that. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, well, let's go get some in the morning. All right, that'll do it for the first episode. Um, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this. Make sure you ding the bell to get notifications for new videos because God knows how many of you are missing all the new videos that go up every single day. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.